So you're thinking about joining a 4-H club. Well, first things first, good call. That's because 4-H is an awesome organization with so many great, wonderful things to learn and do. I know you won't be disappointed when you join a 4-H club, but how do you do it? It's not that complicated. Hi, I'm Tim Talon, Wisconsin 4-H Arts and Communication Specialist, and I'm going to help you through the process. It's only a few clicks of the mouse away, and you'll be on your way to joining a 4-H club. So, let's get started. Here we are at the 4-H Wisconsin Join page. And you've just finished watching the video. There's Amber and I right there in the UW Extension office. So what do you do next? Scroll on down to the bottom of the page and you get to contact your county UW Extension office. So we'll click on that and there they are, all 72 counties in Wisconsin. So you're going to find your county and click on that and you'll go to your county web page. But just for an example, let's just pick one and go through it. Let's pick Kenosha. All right, I'll click on Kenosha, and up will come the Kenosha County webpage with all the staff members. Well, what you need to do, though, is you need to find the 4-H person. So I'm going to go over to the right-hand side of the screen here where the, there's a staff directory. I'm going to click on that, and there we go, the Kenosha County staff directory. So there's a lot of different people who work here, but we're going to scroll down and find the 4-H people. There they are, 4-H Youth Development. There's John DeMont Mullen, Bethany Kitzero, Holly Meyer. So here's all their contact information. John's phone number, Bethany's, John's email. Just click on that link and there will be an email that you can send to him. And that's really about all there is to it. You'll be in touch with that local staff member and you can join 4-H. So there you go. Pick up the phone, give that 4-H staff person a phone call, or send them an email and tell them you're interested in joining 4-H and you're on your way. Or even better, why not pay the office a visit in person? Now, I happen to be here on the UW Sheboygan campus, and the UW Extension office is also here. So let's go down there and pay them a visit. Let's go. We'll meet the 4-H people. This way. So, and there's Nancy, the lead secretary. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Tim. How are you? Good. We're going to show you how easy this is. Nancy, um, I need that 4-H staff person, Amber. Is she around? Yes, she is. Okay. Great. Can I talk to her? Sure. See how easy that was? See how friendly people are here? Works out real good. Now, if Amber, sometimes she's on the phone a lot, but I think she's... Ah! Hi, Amber. Hi, Tim. How are you today? I'm very good. Say, so we're, we're explaining to people how easy it is to join 4-H. So if I was a new 4-H member and I came and stood at the desk like this, what do I need to know? How do I get involved? Well, the first thing I would need to know is what kind of things are you interested in? What do you know about 4-H? Well, I, I know that you can make things. I like to make things out of wood. Excellent. And I also like animals. I like goats. Okay. So... You got a club like that around? Well, and that is the first thing we need to do, is find a club for you. Okay. And in Sheboygan County, we have 33 4-H clubs, so there are a lot of options. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is, perhaps it's going to be one that's close to your home, or one that works into a time schedule that works for you, okay. you on a night or a time, or if you have a friend who want, who's in a 4-H club currently and you want to join the same club, or, as you mentioned, woodworking and goats, maybe a club that has those projects. Now can I join any one of the clubs? You can join any one of the clubs and really it's pretty simple. I can give you some options of okay. some clubs that deal with what you kind of shared, woodworking and goats. Um, you just call the general leader up, which okay. is the club leader. They run okay. the show. Um, their number is listed in our brochure. All right. Just give them a call and say, I'm interested in joining your club. What do I need to do? And they'll invite you to their next 4-H club meeting, tell you where they meet in the time, and you'll be set to go. That sounds really easy. It is really easy. And then once you have a 4-H club, you'll be able to look. Can I take this with you me? You can take that with you. You'll need to look in the project guide to decide all of those great projects you want to join. So you can even take this with today so that you get a good idea Perfect. of what you might want to do and how that all works here in Sheboygan County. Excellent. Can I, can I like join 4-H any time of the year? You can join 4-H any okay. time of the year. In order, you know, a lot of people think of 4-H, they think of the county fair. Yeah. So, in order to show at the county fair, you do need to be enrolled by a certain deadline. Okay. But other than that, open enrollment any time of the year. It's an enrollment guide. That looks pretty fancy. 
all the different projects that are in here that you're going to take. Well, okay, I'll pick one of these clubs and I'll call that leader up and we'll see if we can get joined up maybe next week. Sounds great. Thanks, Good Amber. To see you, Tim. you take care. Yep. Bye bye. That was easy. Okay, we're back. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now, let me go over the steps real quickly again. You're on this page, scroll down to the county UW Extension offices. Click on that link. There they'll be, all 72 counties. Go to your county, click on that link. When that comes up, then go to the staff directory. Click on that and find the 4-H Youth Development staff member. Then you can either give them a call, send them an email, or better yet, even pay them a visit at the UW Extension office in your county. So that's about it. We'll see you in 4-H.